Hey guys, Delina here. Um, I just wanted to quickly walk you through how I made this little merboy photo composite of, for my son. Uh, I think it ended up being 40 something layers total. And yeah, I'm a weirdo. I like to label everything and I don't flatten everything. So I can go through and show you what all I did. Uh, so I started off with a new document with a color fill, just blue. And then I used various stock to create this. Uh, I used stock from Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, and uh, DeviantArt. So here's the underwater that I found, and I just added a Gaussian blur. And then I, I duplicated it, and I changed it to pin light so that the bubbles showed up. And then here's the ground, and I used a blur gallery. Um, I think it's tilt shift. Um, I'm not gonna uncheck that because it'll slow down my computer quite a bit. And then I added some color balance, some levels, some shadows. Okay, and then I created the hill over here and blurred it a little and added some color balance. And then I created the reef and added a little bit of a blur and a color balance. And then I added the castle uh, with some blur. Um, to give it like a far off in the distance look and then added some more color balance then I added the ship and I added the blur but I only added the blur to the back part of the ship and left it in focus here because this is going to be my, my uh, plane of focus right here added the color balance and this was actually like I just painted in some blue around the edge here to give it more of a depth look okay and here I started added the added adding the fish and blurred them a little bit color balance some levels and some color and then here are the other fish some color balance some color some levels and then I added another fish a little bit of blur levels color balance brightness some more color correcting and then the bubbles uh, to make these bubbles right here what I did was I went and used my lasso tool on this one right here and just created a layer and then just drag it over named it bubbles and it's on pen light also Then, what is this? Oh, this is the shark right here. Because uh, you know how in The Little Mermaid, whenever Ariel finds the sunken ship, and um, I think it, I think she finds a fork in there <laughs> with flounder, and they get chased by the shark. <laughs> so there's some levels and some color balance, and then I also blurred it to give it more of a depth look. Then this is supposed to be flounder, this is the closest fish that I could find to it. I didn't want it to be, you know, exactly like flounder, but you can pretty much tell what it is. Added some color and some lighting adjustments to flounder. And then I added Ian. And the mermaid tail is by Samarana. Color balance, some levels. 
color, some light, because the light is coming down onto him, so I had to, I had to add that. And then these are the overall adjustments. I love color lookups. They're amazing. Um, but I also did um, another copy of the underwater and I changed it to multiply blend mode to give it that darker look. And then I did a color lookup to blend it all even more together. And I mean, just two overall edits was all I had to use to make it look like this. And then I just group everything together and I don't flatten anything. I try not to flatten. It, I don't think it really matters which way you do it. I just, I like to see all of it and I usually go back and forth. This took me probably four hours to make, I think. Maybe a little longer because I had to draw it out first. Um, and then, of course, just finding all the stock and placing it all and getting all the colors right. And that's it. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.